Hello walkers and welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, it is about 9.20 in the morning and about 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 22 degrees Celsius. Um, and we are gonna do a little walk here. And I'm gonna cross this way real quick. Uh, we are starting at the corner of Cumberland and Gay Street, and I just wanted to show you two things right here. Figured I don't really know my way around as much as I should, so any place to start is a good place. This is the Bijou Theater, which is kind of neat. And then this is the Sea Ray Hotel, and I believe it's uh, one of the tallest buildings or the tallest building in Knoxville. Um, let me do this. Sorry, a little flustered here. My name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker today, your virtual travel guide, and your co-discoverer uh, here at City Walks. I'm going to flip you around again. Here it's, and I'm going to. What we're going to do today is we'll let that guy pass. Is um, we're just going to explore the downtown area of Knoxville. I walked around a little bit, drove around a little bit because it was raining earlier. Uh, and we're just going to find some cool stuff to see and see what we can discover. Um, and I'll give you a couple little things about Knoxville and the population. We'll just keep going down here. Um, Knoxville is, has about 190,000 people in it, making it the third largest city in Tennessee. It's in the eastern half. It's in the eastern time zone. Um, Tennessee has is in two time zones, the eastern and the central. And it was founded, I think, in the 1790s and was the capital of the state early on, or the colony, I guess. Um, I'm not sure about that history. And it kind of stagnated for a while until railroads came in in 1855. Uh, it was divided during the Civil War in terms of uh, allegiances and the site of a couple battles, at least one battle. Um, we're walking down Gay Street and gonna hit Church Street. Uh, and so we're just gonna walk around and see the buildings and the architecture and the cool stuff. We're gonna go up to a farmer's market, so that'll be fun to check out. Get it down Church Street here. And I'm trying to keep going here, but um, I saw a little bit of an altercation earlier, so I'm a little wary. Kind of a cool sculpture over here. I saw this earlier. This uh, kid rowing a boat. We go on, uh, take, we go rafting on the Yellowstone, and so the uh, the rowing aspect of that appealed to me or, or stuck out. So I'm just going to explain some of the fun stuff that I like here and talk about it, and that's kind of what I do here. Uh, we do virtual tours of cities and virtual treadmill walks. Hopefully these. Are enjoyable for you if you're using a cardio machine or doing an exercise of some sort and help pass the time. This is a Tennessee theater. Uh, I'd like to know more about that. I'd love to go inside and see it. I think it'd be looks from the outside like it's really beautiful. And then you got the Hyatt place. It's a hotel of course and then I just love the old buildings. I mean the old architectural style it's a I don't know what that style is I was told there was a mixture of gothic and Victorian and early colonial they're not early colonial but colonial this building up here and just the stonework and the trim work in a building like this is pretty cool and seeing those old marquees are fun I believe oh, that's further down. There's another hotel down the way. So we're going to make our way down Gay Street and uh, then 
curve over at a certain point and uh, go to the market. And there's a little park and some other stuff. So here's a little park here. A little fountain. There are some homeless folks down here and I want to not be exploitative of them so sometimes I have to uh, be a little cautious about where I point the camera. A little theater over there. I love these old style overhanging things. I, I don't know if it's called a marquee or, or something else. That style. I'm passing the embassy suites here on the left. This is more of a modern building. And uh, so there is a ton. I mean, this there's a lot to see here. Let me just put it that way. It's uh, it's kind of a big downtown, more so I I feel like than Chattanooga um, was. We'll be going down there in a little while. Not too long. Sorry. Trying to get the tilt right. So I'm going to pan around a lot doing this. Um, that building, and I love that sort of the glass cube bar above the main picture windows. The Black Horse Pub and Brewery looks like it's being worked on. Old Woodruff's building. This is more of a the 20 style, maybe. Looks like it's been uh, cleaned and redone, maybe. So, there are several fancy hotels downtown, as you would expect. Several coffee shops and restaurants. And as we've seen, a couple theaters, too, which is pretty cool to see. I um, feel like that's something that is not as common as it used to be. Maple Hall. Um, I want to thank our Patreon supporters today. Your uh, patronage is very appreciated. It's really a big encouragement and it helps um, make these sort of things possible. So thank you very much. Also thank you to the people who um, do one time contributions. You can find links to both these things in the description below. No obligation, of course. I'm going to do these walks as long as I can. Um, but there's some yelling back there. Um, your contributions make it that much more fun. And it's just encouraging to know that you guys value these walks. I think it's just a parking lot, that empty area. But it is interesting to think about what was there at one point. I'm just going to cross over. We'll take a look. Oh, and we can take a look down here. That's kind of fun. These old 19th century looking industrial buildings I find rather interesting. Ooh, and I do also like a good mural. I used to not like them, I thought. I think a lot of them were from the 60s and 70s, and they just, the aesthetic did not appeal to me. Um, hustle. But they're seeing a resurgence, and maybe it's just the, maybe it's the style is different and modern. Or maybe they just look newer. I'm enjoying them. Kind of a new Ethan Long building there that's kind of interesting 
I also do like the uh, the mixture of styles, you know, of, uh, oh, I just, just want to say something. Uh, so we may get down, I might try and get down into that direction down there, but at the moment we're going to head up this way. flowers out here on the left. A big modern building. I call it modern. I, you know, I guess I'm part of the age. I'm at the age where <laughs> things that were being built when I was growing up seem like they're modern and they're 40 years old. <laughs> so, those trees Can't really tell. No, oh, that's the Immaculate, Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Church over there. We're going to go up here and we're going to make a left on Walnut. <clears throat> oh, possibly. Looks like the road is closed off. Really rather not go down too far. Hopefully this microphone, I'm gonna actually adjust the microphone real quick. Hopefully that's gonna be all right. Open to cross down there. What the hell? <laughs> All right, we'll spin you around. We're going to have to backtrack. In fact, um, I'm gonna push pause real quick and we'll open up at the down the block so you guys don't have to see it all again. Okay, we're back at Wall and Gay Street and we're gonna head over to Walnut. I think it's Walnut and the farmer's market and we'll make our way back along that route. Sorry about that. That's what happens sometimes when you're just walking around wandering. Oh, I did wanna show you guys one thing. There's this cool alley down here. And I'm gonna, I think I might go down it. It's not too sketchy. Yeah. All right, so it's got all this awesome uh, murals and art and lights. And it's just really cool. Hopefully I don't get into a situation, but. <laughs> I think it'll be safe. That was a plastic cup. Just kind of a neat, artsy, uh, I don't know, different, right? I don't know if it'd be awesome if people put like tables back here or something, but it doesn't look like it's actually used for any kind of retail commercial use.
there's a back door there to this coffee shop. off to the right here I'll show you we're gonna go this way this is a cool one downtown Knoxville sorry to be swerving around I'm just trying to show everything I possibly can And this is a cool park. We'll come back down here, but I'm going to loop up through the market first. Look at these big old trees. I love it walk in the middle of them. Neat old buildings, cafes, restaurants. There's that little pocket park again. I'm just going to spin you around, not too quickly. So you can see it. I love the canopy here. I mentioned it rained earlier now there's a little breeze I have to say low 70s is very welcome even with the humidity after uh, low 90s the last few days I think it's supposed to still get up pretty hot today but this morning is nice say also that it is surprisingly quiet down here. Very sedate. So you can see the Crown Plaza. We were just a block off. Um, So it's, I would also say it's really clean down here, they, um, these guys that are sweeping. They're one of several different city employees that I've seen today. Uh, there's an information person I saw earlier. Uh, so just real quick, that says TVA, that little sign. I believe that's for the Tennessee Valley Authority. I believe is a uh, oh, hold, on. hold on. This is the farmer's market canopy, um, which I believe is a hydroelectric system built in the started in the 30s. Yeah. Really cool view down this one.
again, the iron work on these marquee, like this marquee, the molding work, and just the detail of the buildings. I know that's just how they did it back in the day, but it's so much more interesting to me than a modern glass and steel structure where we started, right? Um, and I know that to do this now is exorbitantly expensive, but it is beautiful to my mind. Look at that upper porch. There's some tables up there. I wonder if it's a, uh, it's a restaurant, maybe? Oliver Royale downstairs. And Tupelo Honey. The Oliver Hotel. Maybe it's part of the hotel. Huh. So we're going to mosey on down this direction. This is Union, Union Avenue. Kind of a neat little park here too with a sculpture and a fountain. This is a nice park. It's bigger than I thought. <laughs> Little creek. Obviously part of the water feature. It's kind of fun. I saw something like that. No, that was an actual creek, but in um, Choteau, Montana in a park and shallow little slow running creek this art um, and it just it the impact of something like that uh, it's easy to gloss over but subtle things like those like something like that or trees or greenery has a significant impact in my mind <clears throat> on just the the general beauty of a city and it's it's subtle but significant I think Century Bank it's a another classic old one it looks like <clears throat> I mentioned this a little bit earlier um, but you have a building like that and then you have a empty Maybe it's a parking spot, maybe it's something else right next to it. And I just, I guess there's windows on that side, so that would imply that there wasn't something over there. But I gotta wonder what was there at one time. It must have been filled in with something, this kind of real estate. I parked on, uh, parking is one of those things that some people are interested in. Um, I parked on the street, it was $1.50 an hour, so two hour max. Fairly easy to find one at about 8 or so, 8.30 this morning. This is Church Avenue, getting down to about where we started. Looks like a, I guess it says parking, but looks empty. Huh. I think it is empty. That's another thing that I've commented on here before that I find fascinating is that prime downtown real estate can sit like that. And I know there are a ton of financial and legal reasons that can lock up a space like that, but um, I don't know, just thought it was its interest to me, the inertia behind these sorts of things. These buildings, look this ironwork, and that's not even a fancy building. What is 
this building. That's pretty cool. Oh, apparently it's the courthouse. United States Courthouse. Maybe that's behind it? <clears throat> I didn't say that Knoxville <clears throat> is the county seat of Knox County. Uh, we're going to venture forth. Hopefully we don't get into any... Uh, we don't get told off. So if you don't know what a county seat is, um, in America, we states have typically have counties, not all of them. I think Louisiana has parishes, and Alaska has something else, maybe? There's a couple states that don't have counties. Um, oh, this is cool. But most states do, and the sort of capital, quote-unquote, of the county is the county seat. It's typically where the county courthouse is, and where... Um, issues at the county level are dealt with. And then down here is going to be the federal courthouse that I mentioned. like an old school. I'm going to cross over. Excuse me. Old Knox County Courthouse. Look at those cannon, man. This must have been Civil War era. I bet that was loud. All right, we're gonna duck back this way. Because I paused, I can't see how long we've been walking. Um, but I figure we've got a little bit more time. Uh, I'm hoping to have time to go over to the uh, University of Tennessee main campus known as the Vols, V-O-L-S, for volunteers. Tennessee volunteers being uh, a reference to pre-Civil War military. I can't remember exactly what it was, if it was... Um, wars with Native Americans or if it was uh, that they went to the Alamo. Can't quite recall. Oh, in 1982, so after, I, I spoke about this a little bit, but um, after the Civil War, the railroads brought in a lot of commerce, there's a lot of manufacturing, um, and that eventually collapsed in the Great Depression. And the city apparently, according to the article I read, stagnated a little bit until about 1982 when they brought in the World's Fair. And I guess that spurred a lot of investment in the community and the city and sort of started a campaign of rejuvenation for the city. So I think that... Uh, from that point, the city is, is certainly quite beautiful today. And they've obviously done a lot of work to keep it up and maintain it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. This 
Tennessee Supreme Court. And uh, for those of you not from the U.S. who might not know, our this is the state level version of the U.S. Supreme Court, and the system works by these. This court hears appeals um, on, I guess you'd call them maybe technicalities or points of law. So someone doesn't like the ruling in their um, results of their trial and they think there was a mistake made in the process and so they can appeal to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court will hear that and rule one way or another and there's various levels of that at the federal level at least um, and if you're a lawyer and I'm getting this totally wrong please correct me uh, in the comment section but I think that's about right here's the St. John's Cathedral I think it's an Episcopalian uh, symbol there. It's kind of a neat old Gothic look to it, doesn't it? Huh. Look at that stone, that's an interesting stone. Looks like it has quartz in it almost. Striations. Little prayer garden up here. <clears throat> Sounds good. <clears throat> so if we were to go to West on Church Street, we would end up over, I believe that's right, we'd end up over at the university. Oh, no, that's not right can't get across, I think it's Hendry or Henley, there, maybe it's Clinch. Clint Street, you can get over there. You can see down that street. And there's a lot of great cross streets here. I want to pick a good one for you guys. Yeah, this is kind of interesting too. I have to wonder, this is obviously up here, this yellow with the white columns. Looks to me like it was a building, maybe a manufacturing building or something like that. But it's now a parking garage, which uh, doesn't seem like it would be strong enough. But I guess those old buildings were made to last. A lot of concrete in it. Hmm. Yeah, we'll make it right up here on Union.
daylight, clothes, books, food, photography, shopping. But I think that's Holdway. And it's like a bar or a coffee shop. Look at this cool frontage. Um, it's really interesting. I'm gonna go over here and take a look. And then we'll double back. This is the glasswork and the marquee. It's really interesting to me. Love it. I should also admit that I'm a history kind of guy. My degree was in history and I continue to enjoy, hold on. I continue to enjoy reading about history and learning about history. And I uh, find it fascinating, the mechanisms that led one direction and not another. It's really cool. Look at this building too, that trim work and just the contrast. Somebody has mentioned in the past a channel with um, someone who's an architect and goes around and talks about various styles and that sort of thing. These bay windows. Um, and I've forgotten it. I didn't check at the time and lost track. If you know that or any of those channels, please let me know those. I'd be interested to watch a few and uh, find them out. Okay, we are back at Market Street, Women's Suffrage Centennial Plaza. I think I've, guys, I've given you guys your money worth today. So we're gonna wrap this up. If uh, we can do so without getting smushed by a beer truck. And um, I'm gonna recharge the phone, I mean the camera a little bit, and then uh, maybe do another walk here before I have to go pick up my youngest. And uh, so I hope I'll get that done and then we'll head up to Cincinnati and Lexington, Kentucky, maybe a couple other places. So please come back, check things out, tell your friends, uh, be good, and most of all, keep on stepping. <laughs>